<laughs> Here's the Joker. How'd the Joker know, man? That's my favorite kind of present. And then the phone call but terminates. Wrong. It's not my birthday. <laughs> and that's all she says. Yo, Silent Hill characters have the worst reactions to some of the creepy shit. Like, they do not deserve to be in this game at all. Wait a minute. Nothing special in here. There are no cords going in or out of coming of this phone, of course. Okay, now there's something out here. Good. So, uh, I guess I could investigate the woman's locker room. Something here. Plastic bag and a health drink. Doesn't look like there's any lockers in this locker room. And of course, there's one of those things on the floor. So where can I go now? I have that cremated key. I guess that'll open up the, uh... Now I can't concentrate because this thing is floundering about. Hold on, wait a minute. How did I even get here? Oh yeah, take the elevator up to the third floor. Yeah, because that was a ladder room. See, I got confused with that stairwell. That was the ladder that I used to get here. So I think I'll take the elevator back up, and then I have to walk through the day room again, and then I'll be back on the, uh... There. Okay, time to leave. And, of course, get knocked down instantly by this thing. Good. Okay, let's save. I mean, not save. Let's let's go up. <laughs> Pretty big difference there. And of course, there's a ton of assholes up here. Um, so I guess I'm going back. Like, that's the creepy atmosphere. It's like, they combined all the stuff from Resident Evil that was kind of creepy but not combat-oriented and, like, really mixed it with, like, a really good horror novel or something. And there's something wrong with this floor, and I don't know what it is or, you know, how it makes sense. But I'm guessing I can do something with the blood now. Maybe I can, like, take some of the blood with the plastic bag. It seems like the appropriate time to be able to use this item. I just got it. Yep. Blood in the plastic bag. A blood sample. Yeah, like, what the hell? The, the walls are, like, getting scribbled on. It's locked. I can't open it still. figured that. See, now I'm remembering how Silent Hill puzzles work. You get an item, you remember something suspicious, that's probably what you're supposed to do. See? Alright, so at least now I'm kind of getting back in my Silent Hill mood. You see an item, there's probably some reason why you were given an item two seconds earlier. I'm gonna run back and use it on a suspicious object. Okay. So... I doubt those rooms open. What else? Can I go to the first floor, maybe? Maybe there's something there. Yep, so this will drop me off there. I can investigate the entire first floor. Hopefully there's no enemies. I'm really hoping there aren't, but you know, me and hoping. Oh, crap. Well, first off... I'm going to have to pause the game as soon as I get back because I have to really, 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 really quickly check something. Alright, that this is this is terrible. I thought I'd kind of be able to uh, have a little bit of free time, but I actually have to take care of that right away. If my computer wasn't freezing... Oh my, this is terrible. I, <laughs> it's Windows 7, man. Silent Hill is messing with my Windows 7. They know how much I hate it, so why not give me more reason to hate it and probably break it? Alright, I can't, I, I don't even know if the recording is still working, so. 
Okay, okay, I think it's... I, I can move the mouse again for fucking finally. Alright, it's back. Good. Oh, it's terrible. I hate Windows 7, man. Don't even get me started on Windows 8. <laughs> I don't think the windows are getting better and better. Oh, and of course, my favorite friend on the floor. Out of nowhere. A lovable little pal. Obviously, I can't leave the hospital. Okay, this room has next to nothing in it, and that lock is broken, so this room is jack shit. Yep, this room has jack shit in it when you come back in the 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 doi doi Oh shit. Of course, free hit. What the Oh, I thought I died. I heard I heard the nurse die and I thought I'm the one that died. I'm actually okay. Come on. This is fucking horse shit, man. Thank you, I escaped. Alright, good. There's a save room. An ampoule. There's a handful of dirty syringes on the bed. I'm not sure about how to use them, that's for sure. Well, you're not supposed to use dirty syringes. Here's a, here, a memo. Dr. Midkiff. Please use extreme patience, um, extreme patience, extreme caution with the patient in room 312. Okay, and then I moved by accident. He sh should still have his religious freedom here in the hospital, but he shouldn't push his faith on others. I'm a victim too. Rumor has it he got, he got here by stabbing someone over a religious dispute. Please be careful. R. Crosby. And there's more? I'm done moving away when this stuff appears to be done. I'm just going to press A until it's finished. P.S. Looks like the rumor is true. According to the head nurse, I, don't, I do think he's a good person otherwise, though. Easy to deal with. There we go. Finally. It took me like five tries just to read one sentence. So I guess I'm going to ream, uh, ream. room 312. Alright, after I save. Platform Unknown Station. Yeah, I'll save over it. It was a cool name for a save spot. But I'll just save over it. Of course, the lock is broken. All right, so now where are we heading after all? Room 312. Well, 312 is blocked off, so I can't get there. So that's not going to happen. Garden. I can check all this stuff. The day room. Ah. I know as soon as I step out, I'm going to get fucked right up the ass by that thing. It's going to immediately knock me down again. Which is why I'm not eager to go out. Oh, look. This hallway is blocked off. Sweet. That's just fucking killer. So this thing can knock me down again and again. Oh, there's another nurse. No clue where she came from. Oh, I guess I used the cremated key. Of course, the first hit means nothing on a nurse for whatever reason. She's looking at something. There's a note. What the... This doesn't even make any sense. There's another side of the room I can't get to. Wait a minute, what? Wait, where did I even come from? Oh, look, there's a door there. I have to go back out and brave that stupid uh, floor master, to quote from Zelda. Uh, and somewhere Miyamoto is rolling in his... Well, he's not dead yet. He's just fucking cursing me out. 
<laughs> He's disliking this video as we speak. Alright, so this room has two different entrances. It's a book. Alright. The world is teeming with unnecessary people. It's, God deci it's God's decision that I fight. As a knight of honor, as a protector of the seal, I sacrifice myself to the blood of criminals. Who wrote this? Some twisted individual? Eh? I see this and I want to ask him. So you think you're one of the necessary ones? But it seems I've heard of this protector of the seal business somewhere before. Wasn't it on the phone call? He said something about being like a knight or whatever. So you think you're one of the necessary ones, eh? And of course, fucking of course, I knew it. So, can I go into the restroom? Probably not. That thing has never been open. Oh shit, well you know what? I'm gonna kill this asshole, first things first. There's only one way to kill him, too. With the shotgun bullets, I don't have. Jesus Christ, man, these things won't die. These things don't die. Come on, they want you to waste your shotgun, man. It pisses me off. There's dude. Look how many of them there are. And now here comes a nurse. See, I just killed him with the shotgun bullets I don't have. Stop shooting them and shoot the nurse with the gun before she puts a cap in your ass. Oh, too late. Fuck this. I'm just gonna run up and slice her. I'm gonna have to heal though. Thank you, finally. Four enemies in a tightly constricted room. Alright, good. Let me check the goddamn rest house. Nothing, of course. There's still more enemies. Oh, come on! Oh, my God. Thank you. I escaped into this room, which has a whole lot of fucking nope in it. Look, the first hit means nothing, but I was able to stun her. You know, a lot of people like to talk shit about the homecoming melee system. I mean, yeah, the dodge system wasn't perfect, but it's a hell of a lot better than this game, where you basically have to play tank. Just saying. And to be truthful, I actually didn't mind it that much. Oh, a first, two first aid kits. And something growling. There's something on the ground. Is it a birthday card? Happy 38th birthday. 14 plus 7 plus 17 is 38, but it's not my birthday. Oh, there's something else here. Oh, health drinks. Are they birthday presents? Besides, if I really didn't need this stuff, if I didn't really need this stuff right now, he wouldn't have given it to me. That weirdo, I mean. Okay, so there's something growling outside. So this asshole, well, he's not really an asshole, but what the hell is wrong with him? He's given me, like, a whole bunch of stuff. Happy birthday! All right, how many rooms are on this floor, man? Uh, I can go to C4, I guess. There's like five, four, or five, so I can check all the way down to it. Nothing, 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 nothing. I'm stuck on nothing.